Well, my friends, I said eventually I was going to make one, and here it is. This is the Chica deck profile. Now, I did let uh, the viewers of one of my live streams vote on what kind of Chica deck they wanted to see, and they voted on a waifu deck profile. I'm going to make an executive decision, and I'm going to say no. No, 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 no. This is an optimized Chica deck. Kind of. I'm still using Chica as my top end and as my mid game. So I actually had a pure Chica deck and it was honestly pure shit. So I decided to fix it with some more of the meta cards. Like honestly, I need the respect of other Y Shores YouTubers. Like all 50 people or whoever the fuck are in Pittsburgh Y Shores, they laugh at me every time I upload a video. Also, have you seen these prices on Kaguya-sama? Oh my Haruhi, they are cheap, 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 cheap. It is a good time to pick up any of your missing singles now because they are not expensive at all. I got a Chica Core when Kaguya-sama came out in English for like about $30 and all of the extra cards added into this deck brought the total price up to $60. That is right. 60 bucks. That is about two family meals from McDonald's, one Polaroid camera, or this big Lebowski sweater. Whatever floats your boat, my guy. So this is a yellow, green, blue choice. Ignore the red right here. Gold bar, love detective deck. And with that out of the way, let's start with the level zeros. First, we're gonna start with the non-Chica cards. We got two Dignified Appearance Kaguya, on play from hand, top check two, and uh, rearrange them in any order, and she is a Climax Swap. I run it for the second effect, but it is nice to know where you're gonna be working with. This is nice because this is a gold bar deck. You're gonna see a lot of Climaxes in your hand, and it's always good to have a Climax Swapper in your deck as a just-in-case. I run 3 I Bestowing Courage, she is a drop search and when you play a climax you can bounce this back to your hand and you give a character 2k. One of the best cards in the set, honestly. I run this because the drop search is nice, helps you snack characters, but more importantly it lets you dump any extra climaxes that you have in your hand because again, you're running gold bar. The power effect is also super super nice because both of your climax combos are on reverse. Also because your level 3 requires a ditch, you're not going to be short on hand because you play this, you play your climax, it bounces back in your hand and it's like a it never left. Either way, super super good in this deck and I do run it at 3. I run 4 happiness tax to use, he is on play from hand, top check your deck, add it if it's a character or an event, so it is pretty versatile there. And on reverse, yeah, it's not a clock shoot. You choose a card in your opponent's clock, send it to their waiting room, and then they place the top card of their deck to their clock. So it's not a clock bomb per se. You're running it for the first effect, and believe me, if I had the money, I would be running the Searching Rikas, but it's not that cheap now. So four of these, uh, not bad. It is good that this helps get your events as well, so pretty much anything in this deck is a valid target. But again, run those chicas if you can. I run four of the Miraculous Compatibility Kaguya. On play from hand, minus 500 power to win an opponent's character in the front row. And she's a tap self-searching brainstorm. I run these as opposed to the Chica brainstormers over here. Because this adds blue to this deck, which is what I need for the level 3 I early drops and the TD Kaguyas that I will get to a little later. I do suggest you run the Chicas if you're going for more of a Chica centered build, and the Chica does do some work because you are milling a lot in this deck because of the love detectives. But for me, I actually really like this one because the splash of blue is what I needed in the deck. Oh, okay, how about an actual Chica card now? Critical hit Chica is on play from hand, you ditch a card, you salvage a love detective. It's easy, self-explanatory, and a 2k5 power, it is decent for a level 0. And a small play that you could do is that you play your love detective, you know, you get your mills, you get your things, play this, get the same love detective you just used, and use it again. So, yeah, pretty solid, very nice. Off to the level 1s, here is Chica having far away thoughts, she is an anti early drop stock bomb, and I run this at 1 because I, I could grab it with the Kaguya, the Yu, the Love Detective, or the I, so only 1 because I have a good amount of ways to get this out. Time for the 2 spread, his mother Chica, seasonal uniform Chica, and then meddling Chica as well. This is on attack, give a character 500 power depending on how many characters you have. This gains 1k power if all of your characters are Suchin characters and on attack pay 1 twin drive. 
and this gains 1k5 power if you have two or more other characters and character discard encore and when I use an event this gains 2k power and she is a green card as well that part is actually pretty important now I do run four of the events love detective I have seen some decks that have this at three and honestly I kind of want to cut it down to add more green cards as a just in case because of my color spread but four is fine for now I made a whole video on this but super quick can't be played if you do not have a chica character toxic four add a character and then you bounce a cause zero on your opponent's side of the field on their front row back into their hand phenomenal card you get some mills a bounce and more importantly it instantly replaces itself when you play it so let's say you got like you know four of these Play your love detective you get your mills and then you're gonna get an extra card <gasps> look at the card we're gonna talk about next though but yeah this is a really really good card you could get it with the use or you could get it with your uh chica that lets you salvage them yeah super good and here is the climax combo serious showdown between geniuses chica this card is a fucking mess so let me explain it she gains 1k power if all of your characters are suiting and climax combo if you have yo man in play which is the one over here this card gains one of the following abilities on attack pop one of your opponents cause zero characters on the front stage and then this gains 1k power or on reverse salvage and the climax is a 1k1 and a choice when triggered yeah an on reverse salvage is not great at all but there are other utilities as well. This helps you get rid of any cause zero characters without battle. So you could get rid of bombs and uh, cards that bounce back into their hand. Also, on reverse salvage on a 6k5. Oh my goodness, why would they do this to me? Either way, this could be a whole lot better. But you are offsetting this pretty bad climax combo effect, honestly, with your love detective. This is like actually like where you get your mills, where you get your pluses. Because again, 6k5 on an on reverse. <sighs> Good luck. And honestly, now that I think about it, this probably would have been a whole lot better if it gave power. That way you could plop these down, play your love detective, give this power. That way you're more guaranteed the reverse because there has been some times where I'm like, how big is that? 7k power? Yeah, pass. Can't do shit. But it's okay because she is literally holding a Y Schwarz card. So for my level 2 slash early drops, I do run 3 of the series showdown between Genius's eye. Uh, she is a 4 character early drop and if you have 2 or more other characters, she does gain 1k5 power. And uh, during this card battle, you cannot play events and on play heal. Super solid would be better if it was just like all backups in general, but it's still good nonetheless. Uh, saves us from the stock swaps, you know, money counters and the usual suspects. Very easy to get out and a fairly great card. And she is literally holding a Y Schwarz card. Granted, I am thinking of cutting this card out entirely because... Uh, to play this, I need to dump my hand onto the stage, which is something I really can't afford because I need my hand for ammo for the climax combos, but the heal is pretty nice and uh, it hasn't messed me up yet. All right, off to the level threes. I do not run Psychological Test Chica, but I do run three Vice President Kaguyas. This is the Trial Deck card. This is my secondary level three. So if this is on the front row, this gives out 1k5 power to all of my characters, including uh, herself. And on attack, you can pay one, ditch one, mill the bottom three cards of your opponent's deck, and burn for however many climaxes milled. Really damn good gives power to your love detective Chicas because you're gonna be needing it. Speaking of which, all of this led to Love Detective Chica, 500 power for each of my other characters, on play heal and climax combo. When this card reverses an opponent in battle, if you have rebelling against society in play, which is this one over here, you could pay 3, ditch 2, perform the falling action twice, burn for however many love detectives you have in the waiting room. The climax is a 1k1 and a gold bar when triggered. Now you could probably see why running 3 love detectives may be ideal. But again, it's a solid card in itself. Now the burn is extremely dependent on how many love detectives you have in the waiting room. But what is really, really nice is that you're burning that amount twice. So if you could potentially burn two twice with a uh, three soul swing. Now a word to the wise. Ideally, I would want to try field these, but holy shit, this is very expensive. Uh, the cost, not the actual card itself. I think these were like 75 cents when I got him. 
Very cheap. Very cheap. So in my total games of just playtesting this, I was only able to use two effects in one turn. So, yeah, that is six stock, and that is four in hand. It's very, very expensive. And that's not even counting, like, playing it, because that's another two stock right there for a total of four. Yeah, not the best. Not, not the, not the best, honestly. But regardless, those choice climaxes can really help you wherever, like, you're missing. Like, if you're missing a card in your hand or if you're missing some stock, most likely it will be your stock. It can help you out there. And the gold bars really do help out because you gain a stock and you gain hand. Either way, the combo is, is actually pretty damn good on paper. I have overburnt for three or four. So what I do is that I drop the event salvager, take out any love detective that I need so I could burn for less. I mean, it's not ideal, but it works. And there we have the optimal, eh, kind of, love detective build. This deck is actually really, really fun to play, and it's pretty unique. I do like how this deck turned out, and splashing in the blue really does help the deck, like, in the power department. Especially with the early drop heals, and especially having an extra finisher. But... This deck is not good. Honestly, what kills this deck is the level 1 combo and just how expensive the level 3s are, which is literally the whole deck. It is the year of our lore 2020 plus a year and this has an on reverse combo. Like yeah, I like I mentioned you're going to be using the love detectives to help cycle through your deck and plus like e like more effectively, but oh man, like I I really wish this was a whole lot better, honestly. Now, the level 3 is I'm not running these support chicas because you cannot afford the stock if you've played this. I want to try and use this combo as much as possible, but it is a pay 3 and a pay 2 to get it on the field, so that's already 5 stock out. That is way too much. I'm sorry. I'm a cheap man. That's way too much. So instead of tossing the support chicas, that's why I am running the TD Kaiguyas. This also gives a power boost as well as like her own- she has her own burn effect, so objectively this is better than the supporter chicas so when all the attacks are done i've done my burn I've, d I've done everything done the love detective effect i generally always have some stock left over and some hand left over as well and instead of just lamenting that i could only get like one or rarely possibly two of the love detective effects off i could use the icy tail kaguya effect instead all in all this did not really help the deck out. I've worked on this for about a month and a half, playtesting it, working on different ratios, and I can only do so much. This isn't it, Chief, and if anyone has any suggestions on how we could make this better, let me know in the comment section. I am all ears. And that is where we're going to call the video. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Wise Jurors news and content. Thank you all to my channel members over here in the right. And if you want to become a YouTube member, just hit that join button and you'll get extra videos and special emojis and all that good stuff. Now take care, wear a mask at your locals, and I will see you all in the next one.